What is poppin' everybody? You got Count Yo-Yo here, uh, back with another guest commentary for Dokovich. Uh, this time it's Nintendi versus Lax, and uh, let's just jump into it. As we see, Lax has uh, a pretty interesting team, because you don't really see Sock often. Um, and, you know, <laughs> the bug uh, Excel core isn't really common either. Nintendi has a pretty standard bulky offensive team. Um, looking at it, for this one obviously the Rocker, Comfy. I'm gonna assume Comfy is the Life Warp call mindset. I think that's a very good one. Um, because if he his decision could still be the Stallbreaker. Um, if it's not, then he could also be the Taunt uh, Comfy on this set. Um, Lax's only Rocker is the Aerodactyl, so I'm not, not entirely sure what set it is. It leads off with the Sock first, the Piddle Swine. I understand why Nintendo just wants to get Rocks up, as he lets it get knocked off immediately for 73% on Sock. Uh, we did not see Mold Break on Sock, so assuming it was sturdy anyway, uh, and it will, would have gotten broken anyway, as long as Nintendo didn't get, didn't click rocks there. Um, first Nintendo, actually, uh, Vaporeon looks really annoying, because it can Toxic the Slow and literally scald everything else. Um, especially if it can Toxic the uh, Comfy, so it can wear it down as well. Giga Drain is going to hurt though, uh, but assuming he has a Savali Steel, uh, he should be good. Um, what else? I think that Sock might actually just click close combat here, but I could see him knocking off, like Lax with the Sock. Um, doubling into Vaporeon here would make sense too. Mm -hmm. Because that should be able to take any hit, and uh, also kind of covers the, uh, the Zatu and the Slowbro. As Nintendi, I don't think Nintendi wants to get up Rocks here, I don't think it lives a close combat. We don't know if the Sock is locked in yet. It did switch out, so it's very likely that it is. Clicking knockoff turn one was fine because either you knock off, you know, Pillar Swine to Violet, you check someone's Z move, or you get rid of, uh, you know, Rocky Helmet on Zalte, for example. He gets up rocks first into Vaporeon. I like that play, it was a mid ground play. Um, I also feel like there's little drawback to, drawback to clicking Scald now. Um, the one drawback would be that you can't toxic uh, a burnt Slowbro, for example. So if he does get the burn with Scald on Slowbro, that would be unfortunate. Um, he could click Toxic here too, um, but if Zata comes in, that's a bit troublesome. Especially if this isn't Heal Bell, because if they run Toxic, they should it be Heal Bell. He does go Zatu on the Wish, which is also a safe play. Um, I think he could go Aerodactyl now if he wanted to. He could just throw over Skull too, but if Nintendo, cl Nintendo clicks U-Turn and he goes out into Slow Road, that's still scary. He goes into Sofali, which is interesting because Zatu walls to Valley. <laughs> Goes to the U-turn into Incineroar, so Vali goes back to full, but it doesn't really matter. Um, and can see Nintendi actually just click U-turn here, because... I'm not sure if he outspeeds him, if he is the berry set. He could be the SD set, would it make a lot of sense on this team. Um, if this is the bulky set, then I'm assuming... Um, the Decidueye setup. Let's see what he do does. Does he throw off an attack? He does go for the Sword Sense, yeah. And I don't know if Darkest Lariat kills at this range, because Vaporeon is really, really bulky. And it's only at plus one, not plus two, because of the party shot. Um, so I could see Nintendi switching here to probably Slowbro, because you, I would expect to Scald in this position. And you want it to get burned, obviously. I'm still not sure if this... I mean, I think it's AV Slowbro, but it's... it's Sometimes it's hard to tell. Especially if it's like a Spadef uh, Decidueye, because this is SD Incineroar. It could still be Spadef SD Incineroar, but... Uh, Look at the team, I think it's like Z-move. Um, is he going to throw off the Z-move here? Because I don't I don't know it, if it kills Bulky Vaporeon, like Fist and Vaporeon, and it's leftover, so it's not the Celebrate set, so it also showed Wish. Uh, so I don't think it's going to kill. He, d he goes for another Sword Sense, okay. It does throw off a Scald, it does a good amount of damage. So, plus three Z-move should be able to take it out, uh, I'm assuming. He just goes for a regular Darkest Lair, that does not kill it. And he dies to Scald. If that was a Z-move user, which I think it is, especially when I use Darkest Lariat, um, he should have thrown it off there. Even if he protected with the Vaporeon, I think uh, the Z-move into the regular Darkest Lariat would have killed it. So I think there was a misplay on the Teddy's part. Um, because I think Darkest Lariat is 80, and Malicious Moose is 180. So it would have done a fourth of that, which is, what, 45? So it would have done about half of this. Because you want to do a quarter through Protect, of course. So you would have done like, uh, yeah, about half of this. Let's say 30-ish percent would have still been enough. Because he is still at 30. 
Um, anyways, Nintendi should probably go ahead into the Situa here. He could go ahead into Convi. Um, I don't know if Gigantrain kills at this, at this range. It very well could. To be honest, when Comfy first came out and people started using it, I was like, why would you use Giga Drain? <laughs> because, like, it, it, it still hits Steels for, like, neutral. Uh, I mean, like, Steelix for neutral. But uh, it, it's actually really solid for, like, slow rows. And for the bulky waters, mostly. Training case is so weak. Anyways, I'm expecting him to go to the Situa here. I'm not sure what else he would do. <laughs> because he gets the Witch up on, like, everything else. Maybe Life Orb Giga Drain does it, but, yeah. The Situa makes the most sense. And... He could just throw off a dark, uh, ghost type move, but I don't know if it kills. So, I would always go for the move here that kills. He doesn't protect, which is interesting. I thought he would maybe get some health back, but I guess he was afraid of some SD set. Leaf Blade only does 20. Uh, he is the physical set, so... Hmm. The reason I said it is because uh, a defog set that's like Spadef with Energy Ball or Leaf Storm has been uh, going around as well. Goes out to Zato, which makes sense because it's the counter to Steel Valley. Default gets blocked, but it doesn't really do much. Um, I think Zatu is just gonna nightshade here. And I understand why Lex wanted to get rid of rocks. That makes a lot of sense. I feel like Lex is definitely uh, ahead now. Because the Incineroar died so easily. Okay. Nightshade does a good amount of health. That's actually almost a 3 to go. It probably has like 301 health or something like that. <laughs> Goes into comfy hard on a bug bus. It doesn't do much at all. That's not specs damage. So I could see Lex buckbusting again, predicting Zatu, or laying up a T-Spike. It's like sort of a 50-50. If he does have T-Spikes, then they're going to be really, really good for his Nintendo. Nintendi. So I think he should always go out into Zatu here. Yeah. Uh, because T-Spikes are just going to destroy him. Uh, he could try to Calm Mind up here. But since there's still Steel Valley, I... He does go to Zatu on the Pug and it does a lot. Is that Specs? Because the Comfy took nothing. Is that like Spadef Comfy otherwise? Because I, I understand it's resistant and this is neutral. So, wow. That did so much more. Is it Metronome? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he Bug Buzz again, gets rid of the Zatu. Now, I don't know if I agree with that play. I'm assuming this Comfy is going to call mine, by the way. Nope, he just training kisses. It's not going to kill. Toxic Spikes, yep, yep, that's exactly what I was afraid of. That's really, really bad for the Tendi. As now he goes for the Calm Mind. I'm assuming he's going to show HP Fire here. As he gets Toxic, then gets outsped. As he tries to taunt it, but he gets outsped. That's really, really bad for the Tendi. I think he just loses here. Um, goes to Aerodactyl on the Draining Kiss. Nope, on the Calm Mind. Uh, we don't even know what item it is yet. So Draining Kiss does so much. Uh, he's not Life Warp. He's probably the Pixie Blade one then. Um, take some more poison. You could just drain a kiss here. I could see him go to Steel Valley again. Yeah, because he can't touch it. And the Toxic is just racking up. I like how he did 20 and gained 20, but the Toxic is just doing too much work. Goes to the Punish Shot, lowest special attack. The Sijuai, is it Spadef the Sijuai? Yes, that did nothing. With leftovers. So this is kind of the set I was talking about earlier. Drain a kiss gets a crit. Look at how much health he gains. <laughs> it doesn't matter though, he just roosted all off and the Toxic will uh, end this comfy probably next turn. Goes to Steel Valley on the Drainicus. Yep. Makes sense. He doesn't want his Decision Y to get too low because it can still take on the opposing Decision Y or uh, Slowbro. And with the T spike up, I just don't think it's any winning this anymore. Um, he could just tag Steel Valley here. I don't think it does much. And you keep rocks up with just defogging. But he actually party shots out into his Aerodactyl, which is interesting. I'm, I'm assuming it lifts the Ice Shard at this range because. Oh, it's Leftovers too. I haven't even noticed that. It's the Precious Leftovers one. Is it like Sub Toxic? Goes to the slow row, gets poisoned, as he does get his rocks up. Yeah, these hazards are just going to kill Nintendo slowly. Um, Lex goes to Excelgore, sacks it off. Jao Ninger. On the Ice Beam, so it's probably AV slow row, that makes the most sense. Goes into the Situai again, can just click a Grass type move, because even if he does go into uh, the Situai... Um, actually, shut up, all works. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Ice Beam shouldn't do too much to spit up the Situai. The spit after up also does not matter at all. Does he click? Yeah, now he clicks shut up all again. No reason not to. Especially because the pillar swine is so low. Goes into the Sijuai, gets poisoned, takes the rocks. It's it's just over. Lex like Lex pressured him too much with the hazards. And Nintendo shouldn't have played her out with the Zatu. And it wasn't even specs damage because he did get up the T-Spike, so I don't know what kind of damage that was, but it did a lot. 
So he even gets off a flamethrower. He doesn't even die to the spirit shock on this decision. Why it goes down to 5%. And uh, what's he going to go out into? Aerodactyl? No. His mods are actually pretty low. Like it came, it became closer than... <laughs> the score The score was actually closer than the battle made it seem. Goes to Vaporeon. He could just protect if he wants to. But if this is a roost one, then you don't do that. He does protect. Wow. I guess he saw from the damage that wasn't offensive to Sijuai and figured there was no roost. But that was that was quite the play. If he had roost there and he went for it, since it was regular poison, not toxic, he actually would have uh, would have been in a pretty tough position because the rocks are up on his side and his Aerodactyl would not have enjoyed that. Um, but yeah, that's going to be the game between Nintendi and Lax. Lax won that pretty dominantly, I would say. Anyways, I want to thank you guys all so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like down below. Uh, subscribe to Doc and me, uh, do your thing, I hope you guys all have an amazing day, and I'll see you next time.